has some score samples at the end uh, that show that these markings, I'm actually following them, and, and it says confuoco for this little G major. So uh, thank you very much for having me here. Uh, this topic was Bach in the 19th century, and this is Edward McDowell, 19th century American. I have three American composers I've been really working with very strongly recently, and they are uh, Edward McDowell, Arthur Bird, and George Templeton Strong. They all three were born in the 19th century. They all three studied in Europe. They were Northeasterners. This was the way you, you made it in the nascent music world of the United States. He bowed to Europe. And what happened was that they, of course, knew all about Bach from their studies and were very well aware of his compositional procedures, his topical styles. And furthermore, they were very well aware of the renaissance of interest in the harmony, I mean, in the um, clavichord and the harpsichord. It was really ongoing. And uh, McDowell was really strongly uh, aware of it in many ways. I don't want to get into it. But uh, they also came up at the time that the harmonium was being invented and perfected both in the United States and in Europe. It's different technologies. No time for that today. Uh, but the point is that they accepted the harmonium, not McDowell, but Strong and Bird accepted it and wrote pieces for it. Some of those pieces show remarkable influence of, I would say, Bach or certainly the early music stuff that was coming up. Couperin, Rameau, very strong. So um, I've chosen to present some of those materials for this talk. But so let's start with the first piece. Uh, it's the Gavotte of Templeton Strong. Templeton Strong, uh, in this piece, uh, which were unpublished, uh, came out of the library in Switzerland. A, a colleague of mine copied them out, and I'm playing directly from this manuscript. Um, this, uh, this first piece is part of a, what looked to be a suite of pieces, some of which have a bar Baroque element to them. And so this one, the Adagio, I think is a combination of the French overture and the Saraband. You'll, you'll see that right away. So I'm thinking of it more or less orchestral. He doesn't give you any indication of what, what the stop should be for it, by the way.
next. Goodbye.
Anyway, <laughs> I, I really love the depths of what the stops can do, as you can mm -hmm. hear. And not necessarily that I think it's right for this piece, but I wanted to show you what, what was possible.